feeling great. It's been a great camp. You know what I mean? At this point, all the work's been put in. Now it's just polishing things, making sure all the ducks are in a row, and getting ready for Saturday. out in Liverpool, got to train a couple months out there, had a great camp, a lot of momentum coming out of there. Was able to go to the Cage Warriors in Manchester, that was a great show. Got to watch some of the guys compete, all three of them got first round finishes. Me and Nathan Fletcher got to take that momentum, keep training through and excited, ready, we're both ready to put on a good show this weekend. <laughs> Team USA versus Team Europe. Team USA baby, let's go. <laughs> Is. The guy, the guy I've been looking for. What do you need? What do you need? Like a good quote or something? Always a good quote for you. Let me think of a good quote. Uh, man, everyone falls down in life. Just make sure you land on your ass, not your face. Uh, I'm actually from Illinois and trained in San Diego. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. San Diego's pretty nice weather. It's tough to be, so. Just pop those on so I don't yeah. get rolled up. Okay. It's all good. I'll get them. Uh, you go out when I'm in, when I'm in a, out in uh, San Diego, San Diego's 75 and sunny every day. So, oh, yeah. like, you kind of, like, I forget what time of year it is. I'm like, oh, it's winter? Oh, this is weird. Like, <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's nice going and it gets back a bit home. Boring when it's just it does, day. yeah, it really does. You're like, man, I kind of wish it would rain. You know, <laughs> like I'm sure you guys don't ever say that, but no, yeah. feel good, man. I feel good. Uh, I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. Dehydrated and still tough enough to whoop anybody's ass in this hotel. So excited to be in London. We did some toured some stuff and uh, saw the city. It's been nice and. It's always nice to see you guys, and I'm close to weight. Uh, got a little couple more pounds to go, but we're ready to fight. Either way, we're gonna show up ready to fight, so excited, excited. Got two guys in there that throw caution to the wind, reckless abandonment, and uh, fighting for our countries, and fighting to get uh, get right in line for that title shot, so I think it's, it's definitely the people's main event for a reason, and we're gonna show up, show out, and uh, you know, meet in the center of the octagon and get it on. There's no doubt about that. So it should be a good one for sure. But I watched this fight, and he look, he looks, uh, he looks. Uh, I like him already. <laughs> he looks like a, it's going to be a good fight. He looks violent, but so am I. <laughs> he's going to be good. I just have a good feeling in my belly, you know. I think it's going to be a fight for me personally to remember, you know. I have every fight I did, I only have one fight that's really like a dog fight. And I think this is going to be another one. <laughs> so, yeah. And you know, first round finishes and things like that, it's nothing you remember like. But if you really need to struggle and bleed and everything, that's something you will remember. I think this is going to be one of those. Now stop and look mean. Straight into this camera. Nice. Okay, see you guys. Thank you, see you later. Thank you. See you. Yeah, you too. Been good, man. From one training camp to the next. I came up to London, I stayed up here for a week. And also now I'm about to stay up here for a couple more weeks. Uh, it's been a great camp, actually. Um, just because I was still already in shape from my last fight, I'm um, going straight into this one, but it just added more rounds to it, more cardio. But injury-free, great training partners. Um, I felt really good, really good at the end of this camp. You don't want to overlook any other opponent just because it's not for the belt. You want to fight for them all the same. This one just has a little bit more incentive. But you're still going to every fight like it's a championship fight. Only difference is this one's five rounds. The others are three. 
But just because it's scheduled for that amount doesn't mean it has to go that amount. You try to get them out of there early. That's the plan. That's always the plan. Get in, get out. You know, you don't get paid by the rounds. So just get in there and get it over with. Take one step backwards, please. Yeah, yes, sir. My name is Christian Leroy Duncan. I fire of Range Academy in Gloucester. I have a record of 7 0, all within Cage Warriors, and I'm representing Team Europe this New Year's Eve in London. Earlier this year, in April, I fought Jati Melan. He was a, at that current time was 8 um, 0. I fought him for the title in April, and I won that fight there with um, a knee finish. Um, going forward now, fast forward to November, I had my first defense against Marion Dimitrov um, in Manchester, and that fight there finished in the first round with, a, with an elbow and finished up with some punches. And now I've got my second second defense for a title fight of the year in, um, in London on New Year's Eve. I understand um, Jesse Taylor um, he's a very experienced fighter. I would say, at this current mo moment, more than likely one of the most experienced fighters on the planet in MMA. Um, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to this test. I'm looking forward to this fight, and I feel it will bring the best out of me. I'm feeling good. This is a long time coming. I should have. This should have happened years ago. Um, I think pretty much everybody knows it. I feel like I've had to um, pretty much beat the entire division over twice nearly to try to get this opportunity. So um, I think I, I've, I've deserved this for a long time. So I'm just here just to kind of prove myself now. I think it's an interesting fight, um, but I just think that. He's got, he's, he's got skills and things, that, and he's improved since last time, but I don't think he's improved as much as I have. Um, I think I've improved a lot more than he has. Um, I've, I've got a much more complete game now. I've also got like, a secret weapon that I've kind of, um, or secret strength that I've kind of got. It's, uh, I call it dad strength. Yeah, I got that since last time. I don't know if he has, but um, that's made a big difference. You know, mentally, I'm more resilient as well now. You know, I've been tested, get tested all the time. I can sleep literally standing up if I really want to as well. So it's, it's, uh, I think I've got a lot of advantages this time around compared to um, him. All in a day's work. Easy peasy. Got a few tricks up my sleeve, you know? A few tricks up my sleeve. Okay. It's just good. 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 Still here. Still doing it. Still, still traveling the world and having some fun. Ten years to the day. Time goes fast, doesn't it? Flies. Man, this feels dreamlike. Like, here we are again, you know? Kind of hard to put into words, so. Feels incredible. It's like, uh, yeah, I just got to make history repeat itself now. I, I think it definitely helps uh, uh, that experience. And uh, I, I think it's just, you know, it, it's a huge benefit uh, for me. He's going to have that young and that eagerness and that fire, but I, I think I think I still got that still too. And uh, just got to trust my experience and trust my coach and trust myself. It's not my first rodeo doing this, you know. <laughs> the half model too. Oh, these are awesome. These are great. That's lovely. That's great. Beautiful. You know I'm it. predicting a finish from me. Um, round one or two would be nice. Uh, if it goes the whole time, I'm ready for that too. But I want to finish early and be on my way. So I pulled down to tonight. Ladies and gents, good morning. Welcome to the official weigh-ins of Cage Warriors 148. It's got to go. He's good. 135.2. 135.2 for Nathan Fletcher. He's good. 135.8. 135.8 for Alessandro Giordano. Nathan Fletcher versus Alessandro Giordano. Ladies and gentlemen, we're moving to our... He's good. 170.7. 170.7 for Jason Blair. Please welcome his opponent. 
He's good. 170 even. 170 even for Elio Hernandez. Jason Blair versus Elio Hernandez. He's good. 185.2. 185.2 for Justin Barry. Please welcome his opponent to the scales. Dario. He's good. 185.3. 185.3 for Dario Belandu. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Barry versus Dario Bill Andy. We'll move on. He's good. 124.6. 124.6 for Shaggy Deal. Ah. He's good. 124.9. 124.9 for Sam Grayson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a flyweight title fight. Check it your head. Versus Sam Tracy. It's good. 193.9. 193.9 for your home. Kadena. He's like with a pony boy. He's good. 191.2. 191.2 for Darren Stewart. Ooh, Ladies and gentlemen, your home Katina versus Darren Stewart. Moving on to the King He's good. 144.7. 144.7 for David Wilson. He's good. 145.7. 145.7 for Dave Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, your home Katina versus Darren Stewart. He's good. 133.7 for Wilson Ice. He's good. 135.7. 135.7 for Thomas Coming to the table. Close, close. Step in. Ladies and gentlemen, Wilson Ice versus Thomas Marvel. He's good. 203.4. 203.4 for Jeff Campbell. He's good, 203.5. 203.5 for Modestus, who cast us. Ladies and gentlemen, the Wilson Heist versus Thomas Marvel. Ladies and gentlemen, you're coming out on the evening. Jack Campbell versus Modestus, who cast us. He's good, 185 even. 185 even for Jesse Taylor. Please look at him. He's good, 184.7. 184.7 for the champion, Christian Leroy <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, your main event on the New Year's Eve, Jesse Taylor, versus Christian Leroy Duncan. 